My name is the Reverend Joe Evans, and on behalf of First Presbyterian Church of Marietta, I welcome you here for the special time of prayer. Prayer can center us during this difficult and challenging time for wherever we are and whatever our circumstance. Our God is listening. crying out to many for help, to the president, to the Congress, to the military, to the governor, the business, to health workers, scientists. We'll join the psalmist now, crying out to God from those ancient troubled times. Let us pray. God, our helper by your Holy Spirit. Open our minds that as the scriptures are read and your word is proclaimed, we may be led to your truth and taught your will. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Psalm 130. Hear now God's word. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. The word of the Lord. Hello and good day to my beloved First Presbyterian Church family and to my beloved community of faith outside of our congregation. If I may, I want to expand the prayer to how, may, how have I put my trust in God in times past, today, and in the future. If I may, I want to relate a story that I had that uh, had an incredible influence on my faith journey. In the mid-1980s, my Aunt Betty, a person I truly loved as a wonderful person and a wonderful aunt, was diagnosed and soon died from breast cancer. I was so hurt and so angry with God for letting this happen. I was decimated. I badly needed to talk with someone to help me through distrust for God that I was feeling. I called Dr. Jim Speed and asked if I could have a conversation with him. Dr. Speed answered, of course. We met and I told him of the growing distrust and even hate that was filling my heart was for God. Dr. Speed thought for a moment and answered, Tim, I cannot tell you why this happened and you will probably never know until you rely on faith and refill your trust and love for God. Then Dr. Speed put the trust into perspective. He said, <coughs> excuse me, he said, when you get to heaven and face our God, he will allow you to ask questions. When you ask him why, he will have an answer. And I will answer, oh, now I understand. In this time, in this day, in this moment, and in times to come, I will continue to trust God and know that all things will be made clear when I face God in heaven even and including this bewildering coronavirus. May I now share with you some scripture that is very special to me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, and it reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen, and God bless. Hello to my FPC family. This is Janet Lewis, and I wanted to share with you guys a time when I experienced God's redeeming power in my life. I didn't want to share about um, 
putting my trust in God today because I've been struggling this last week with my business, knowing whether to keep it open or not keep it open, the financial challenges of a small business owner. But knowing that God redeems me has helped me to trust more. Um, several times in my life where I really felt the hand of God at work in my life. One of them was when I decided to become a chiropractor, of course, and once I was in school, there's a lot of hurdles to jump through and an awful lot to do to get fully accredited to be a doctor of chiropractic. And I, um, I, I knew I had to see a certain amount of patients or I wouldn't pass a certain quarter. Um, as a student, you have to take care of outpatients. And I remember praying. I was so nervous. Um, I had just had McLean. I was a member at the church, or at least visiting. And I, I, I didn't know how I was going to pass that semester. I just didn't have all the patients I needed to be able to see to pass that quarter. Um, and struggling, trying to be a family person and take care of my kids, take care of my family, and still do what I knew God wanted me to do, become a chiropractor. I just didn't know how it was all going to fall together. And then this calm came over me when I was praying. And I remember just feeling like God was telling me, Janet, I'm not going to put you in this path to be a chiropractor if I'm not going to take care of you. And that has comforted me a lot throughout different things in my life as a chiropractor. Um, even having a child with special needs was a challenge and whether to keep my business open or not was a challenge at that time. So I, I'm just, I have to remember the grace and the power that God has in my life. And he has that for all of us. We just have to ask for it. you experienced God's redemption in your life? How is this scripture inviting you to put your trust in God today?
cry out to God, we believe that God hears us, that God knows the deepest longings of our hearts. Now let us close in prayer, in the certainty that the words we speak aloud and even the words that are unspoken are heard by our God. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the coming spring, and we thank you for reminding us that even as our lives ground to a halt, creation goes on. We thank you for the many blessings you continue to pour into our lives even during this difficult time. Lord, we pray for those facing illness. We pray especially for those struggling with the coronavirus. We pray for our hospitals, our doctors, and our nurses. Give them stamina. Give them good help. Lord, we pray for our leaders, the leaders of our city and the leaders of our country. We pray that you will give them wisdom. Lord, we pray for those lonely and isolated. May they know your love. Give us eyes to see those who most need kindness and a listening ear. Give us the courage to respond. We pray for those who live in fear today, those afraid to leave their homes, those afraid to watch the news, and all who are afraid of what may become of our world, of our community, of our economy. We pray for all who are afraid of how life will be changed. Remind us, Lord, that you are the God who leads your people through the wilderness, and we do not walk this wilderness alone. Give us eyes to see your thumbprints all around. Show us where you are at work even now. Lord, we face dangers that overwhelm us. Remind us that in the face of these dangers, though they may be great, you are greater still. Help us to trust in you. Fill our vision with your glory. Let us remember that you have the power to redeem even the darkest of moments. We pray all this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. This has been a ministry of First Presbyterian Church of Marietta, Georgia. Join us as together we change lives with faith, hope, and love. For more information, go to fpcmarietta.org. Thank you, and have a blessed day. You got to cut it off. Somebody got to cut it off. <laughs>